Pistorius has been acquitted in the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria of murdering his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. Judge Tokazila Masipa said the state could not prove premeditated murder. She said the evidence with regards to the murder charge was purely circumstantial. Pistorius wept as the ruling was made. How could the accused reasonably have foreseen that the shot he fired would kill the deceased. Clearly, he did not subjectively foresee this as a, pos as a possibility that he would kill the person behind the door, let alone the deceased as he thought she was in the bedroom at the time. To find otherwise would be tantamount to saying that the accused reaction after he realized that he had shot the deceased was faked, that he was play acting merely to delude the onlookers at the time. Dr. Stipp, an independent witness who was at the accused house minutes after the incident had occurred, stated that the accused looked genuinely distraught as he prayed to God and as he pleaded with him to help save the deceased. There was nothing to gainsay that observation, and this court has not been given any reason to reject it, and we accept it as true and reliable. It follows that the accused, erroneous belief that his life was in danger, excludes dolus. The accused, therefore, cannot be found guilty of murder dolus eventualis. That, however, is not the end of the matter as culpable homicide is a competent verdict. Well, we now cross to our reporter, Criselda Lewis. She's at the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria. Criselda, things are moving a lot quicker than anticipated. As we heard, there has been acquitted of murder, but the judge still has to rule on a number of other charges, including culpable homicide. Well, certainly, uh, Natasha, really moving much faster than we had initially anticipated this morning. But just to bring you up to speed about what's happening outside court now, is the ANC Women's League has been singing Senzeni Na, which means what have we done? This, of course, following uh, Oscar Pistorius' acquittal on murder. And, of course, we also got some of uh, the supporters of Riva Stienkamp and her family who have been crying outside court, saying that they cannot believe what, what, what has happened. But they're saying that they might as well respect the rule of law. And uh, you would know that Judge Tawazile Masipa had highlighted a lack of, uh, of evidence in this matter relating to the basis of why she has acquitted Oscar Pistorius on murder. But uh, just to give us a bit more insight on what all this means and whether the culpable homicide charge will stick, I'm going to chat now to Advocate Pete Pistorius, who is our law expert, consistently joining us here on SABC News. Uh, Mr. Pistorius, thank you so much for your time. Let me point out as well that you were not related to the Pistorius family. Mr. Pistorius, an acquittal on murder. First there was premeditated murder, then murder. Uh, certainly, uh, were we expecting this? Well, I believe from the outset that the state had difficulties uh, in, in showing at all premeditation. The only issue really was whether they are going to succeed in showing that he had subjective foresight, that is, donors of intraholers to kill, which the judge has also in a very balanced and carefully way uh, uh, analysed assessed the evidence and came to the conclusion that they did not prove that, which I thought was the correct decision from the outset. Well, certainly we saw this uh, all begin to unravel when Judge Masipa, uh, much earlier this morning already, spoke about WhatsApp messages that didn't hold any credence to showing what relationship there was between the two, and also uh, disregarding the, the, the witnesses, the neighbours who testified in this trial, saying that they couldn't differentiate between the different sounds that were heard, and also uh, some of the witnesses had been influenced uh, by the media, the coverage of this, uh, of this trial. Is that where we, we began to saw all of this? tip in, 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 in favour of Oscar Pistorius? I, want, I think one should be careful to say uh, everything tipped into his favour. Look, yes. the judgment is still not finished mm. and the judge is going to deal with the issue of culpable homicide after the luncheon of German Remember, she already found that he acted unlawfully. So, uh, without preempting the judgment, uh, I think Mr. Pistorius is very uh, is is looking at the possible conviction of culpable homicide, which the, the judge will deal with the relevant principles now after lunch. 
do we see Judge Masipa threading very carefully here uh, in terms of there must be some responsibility for what happened on that Valentine's Day, would you think? Yes, as any good judge should do, she's assessing the evidence judicially, not emotionally, as people would expect, and that is exactly what is expected of a good, competent judicial officer, which she is without any doubt, and that is assessing the facts of the case, not the emotions, and applying the law. I want to talk about the different scenarios. Of course, as you say, without preempting. After uh, lunch, we're going to look at the possibilities of culpable homicide if Oscar Pistorius would be found guilty on that charge. But uh, what would it, in the event that he is, you say it might happen? What different scenarios are we looking at here? Would Oscar Pistorius uh, uh, be under correctional supervision? How does this work? It all depends on the evidence in mitigation and aggravating of, of, of sentence. Look, sentence is a is a, a aspect of the trial yet to be visited. Uh, and then the judge will obviously assess the evidence in coming to a justice. But why don't we talk about the different scenarios? What are the possible scenarios? Well, if he's convicted uh, on culpable homicide, he, the state may, may still argue that imprisonment is a suitable sentence. The defense obviously will disagree. So all kinds of sentencing options is available for the judge to consider, but that is in the event of a conviction. Thank you very much uh, for your time there. Advocate Pet Pistorius giving us some details following, of course, uh, Oscar Pistorius' acquittal on the murder of uh, Riva Stiankamp. But certainly outside court here, we've already spoken to some people who are saying that uh, they welcome so far Judge Togozile Masipa's verdict and others obviously on the part of Riva Stiankamp saying that they're disappointed thus far. We've seen so many people outside here coming to voice their views. We're expecting many more others to come here this afternoon as uh, we had anticipated that much of the verdict will be heard to, uh, tomorrow but as you've rightly pointed out Natasha it all really went with speed very unexpected on the part of the media certainly back to you in studio. Well Chriselda before we let you go I just want to ask you just give us an indication of the timeline um, a lot of speculation that this would go through until tomorrow but as we've seen it's moving a lot quicker is there a likelihood that this will continue tomorrow? Well, it certainly looks uh, uh, as if it will continue tomorrow, Natasha. You must not forget, there are still other charges that uh, Judge Togozile Masipa still needs to deal with with relation to the contravention of the Firearms Control Act. You will recall those incidents relate to Oscar Pistorius uh, allegedly shooting through a sunroof and, of course, just allegedly discharging a firearm outside an upmarket restaurant in, uh, in, in uh, one of the upmarket suburbs here in Johannesburg. So, uh, certainly by the looks of things at the moment. She might deal with those other aspects tomorrow. So, uh, of course, court will adjourn again at three o'clock. Whether it will run over, we do not have an indication of that thus far. But certainly don't forget, there are other charges that she still needs to deal with. And certainly she's been a stickler, uh, you know, for detail. And she certainly wouldn't want to rush through this. As you heard our law experts say, she'd want to go through this very thoroughly. Because you must recall that justice needs to be seen to be done in this trial, in any trial for that matter, but particularly because the world is watching this one in particular. The judiciary, the justice system in South Africa equally under scrutiny, so is Oscar Pistorius, his family, Riva Stienkamp and everybody else who is aligned to this particular case. All right, Chriselda, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. That's Chriselda Lewis coming to us live from outside the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria with a lot of reaction being seen outside of court after that ruling by Judge Masipa. But let's take a look now at what has transpired um, in court throughout the morning. Earlier, Judge Masipa rejected the evidence given by two of Pistorius' neighbours, Michelle Berger and her husband, Charles Johnson. She said witnesses had trouble distinguishing between the sound of the bat and of the gun. The defence admitted that there were shots fired that morning, but added that there were no, also sounds of a cricket bat striking hard against the toilet door, and that the noises sounded similar and could easily have been mistaken for shots. This was not contradicted. During the course of the trial, it became clear that some of the sounds that witnesses interpreted as gunshots were actually not gunshots, but sounds of a cricket bat striking against the toilet door. It was also not contradicted that the shots were fired first and that the striking of the door 
using a cricket bat followed thereafter. Well, continuing with her assessment of evidence of what was heard on the night, the judge said the head wound would have incapacitated Steenkamp immediately and therefore the only other person who could have screamed was the accused. This suggested that the deceased probably did not breathe, breathe more than a few seconds after sustaining this wound. The shots were fired in quick succession. In my view, this means that the deceased would have been unable to shout or scream, at least not in the manner described by those witnesses who were adamant that they had heard a woman scream repeatedly. Well, the judge then read a short piece from Pistorius's testimony where he described the moments leading up to the shooting. The bathroom lights were off but he could see from the entrance that the bathroom window was open while the toilet, toilet door was closed. There was no one in the bathroom. He did not know whether the intruder or intruders were on a step ladder outside the bathroom, <coughs> bathroom window or were inside the toilet. He had his firearm pointed in front of him. He then had a movement inside the toilet and thought that whoever was in the toilet was coming out to attack him. A claim by the defense that Pistorius could not be criminally liable because he made a reflex action during the shooting was rejected. This, Judge Masipa said, would otherwise imply that Pistorius had no control over his actions during the moments around the shooting. Counsel for the defense... argued that while the accused had in fact approached the bathroom in a state of readiness to defend himself and the deceased against a perceived threat, he did not consciously discharge his firearm in the direction of the toilet door. He argued that from the evidence of the accused, it is clear that the conduct of the accused and the death of the deceased were an accident. While well, addressing evidence surrounding the nature of the relationship between the two, Pistorius and Steenkamp, Judge Masipa said neither the state nor the defense had submitted evidence reflecting the true nature of their relationship. The state also led the evidence of WhatsApp messages that went to and fro the accused and the deceased a few weeks before the deceased was killed. The purpose of such evidence was to demonstrate to this court that the relationship between the accused and the deceased was on the rocks and that the accused had a good reason to want to kill the deceased. In a bid to persuade this court otherwise, the defendant or the defense placed on record more WhatsApp messages that painted a picture of a loving couple. In my view, none of this evidence from the state or from the defense proves anything. Well, the trial has been followed around the world and social media has been a buzz. So let's just take a look at what's being said on social media, taking a look at some of the tweets that have come through. Oscar Pistorius found not guilty of murder. Shocker, if you're even semi-famous, you could do pretty much anything and still get away with it. Um, one coming through from Lauren, she says, as if Oscar Pistorius might actually get away with this, South Africa have an appalling legal system. One from Lloyd says, Oscar Pistorius not guilty of murder, flagrant corruption before the eyes of the world, disgraceful. And Stephen says, Oscar Pistorius not guilty, never heard worse. And finally from Billy, he says, Oscar Pistorius gets away with it, proves if you're famous, you can literally get away with murder. So a clear indication of what people's thoughts are there. Remember, you can send through those tweets. That Twitter handle is at SABC News Online. Well, we're going to take a short break.